The governor continuing to urge Arizonans to wear masks and stay home as much as possible while promising even more testing and that Arizona will be open for learning this school year. But one of the biggest changes from the governor today, nearly a million Arizonans getting a little more time to catch up on back rent with less threat of eviction. The statewide ban on eviction enforcement will continue for another few months. ABC 15 investigator Courtney Holmes has talked to so many tenants struggling to get by and joins us live with today's developments. Yes, Steve, today some relief for renters and landlords who've been caught in the middle as governments try to figure out how to get housing assistance to them with the clock running on an executive order that was due to expire next week. It's been some time since we talked about the March 24th executive order to delay evictions for those impacted by COVID-19. A topic many Arizonans have been waiting to hear the governor to discuss what's to be done about next week's eviction deadline. I would ask, uh, uh, we don't want people to fall behind on their rents. The executive order slated to expire on July 22nd was extended to October 31st. While it doesn't stop evictions, it is supposed to delay people from being forcibly removed from their homes for inability to pay. ABC 15 has reported extensively about months long delays in housing assistance. Maricopa County and City of Phoenix just now getting their programs off the ground and the Arizona Department of Housing has only released just over 1.1 million of the 5 million Governor Ducey set aside back in March. He was asked whether or not that program was a failure. The program is not a failure. Uh, I think you may have seen earlier in the presentation that we've had over $5.4 billion in federal funds go out. That's $840 a week to, to people. So if you're receiving $840 a, a week. But that 840 runs out July 25th for the 900,000 unemployed Arizonans who are relying on it. And if Congress doesn't extend it, Arizonans will get a max of 240 a week. The governor seems to think more money is on the way. This is something we've been talking with uh, the delegation about, talking with the White House about as well. Uh, there is a fourth package coming. Announced a five. The governor also announced a $5 million fund set aside specifically for landlords to prevent foreclosure. We're still working to find out how people can apply. For now, we're live in Phoenix. Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona.